Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm on and today I will react to the top 10 Chemical Brothers songs. I have seen this list before and I have heard a couple of Chemical Brothers songs. I don't think that anyone is, anyone is a fan uh, of this group on the channel. I don't think yeah, I don't think anyone has ever talked about them. I like them, but I don't I think I'm subscribed to them, but I'm not like hugely in love with them, but you know, I always want to try it, electronic music because you know I love Daft Punk um, love some songs of Avex Twin and The Prodigy those are like my three favorite ele electronic groups I grew up on Dead Mouse I do like that but you know not everyone is very fond of Dead Mouse but I do like him he's kind of a personal uh, love for me so I do have some electronic love in here I do like uh, quite a lot of electronic music but I know to say that the Chemical Brothers never really like had a song for me that you know like the Prodigy or Avex Twin. You know, Prodigy have a, like quite some great songs. I would say Avex Twin has you know they have some great albums and some great songs. Um, and you know Fatboy Slim too. I do love some Fatboy Slim, but I don't think I've ever like really loved a Chemical Brothers song. Although they're arguably the, the the biggest EDM group besides Daft Punk. I think so, you know, with that acclaim. Oh, and uh, Kraftwerk, of course. Can't, f can't forget Kraftwerk. So I do know my electronic acts. I'm not a fan of everything, but, you know, uh, Daft Punk is definitely a favorite of mine. So I do love me some electronic music. I just, you know, I'm, you know, not, not anything is really my favorite besides that group, of course. So there you go. So um, let's get into the list. I don't really know. Uh, I, you know, I've watched the list already, but I forgot all the song titles. I will recognize the, the songs because I've seen them before. Uh, there's one song that they did with, I believe, No Gallagher. That was kind of interesting. And oh, wait, spoiler, I think that's number one. You know, th that song with No Gallagher. Uh, and that was in 97, so Oasis was fucking crashing at that point. They were, you know, they, they were doing coke binges every day, so that band was you know, out of their fucking minds, so there you go. Always was out of their minds. You know, what else? Fucking, that one like Indian kind of sounding song, that's gonna be on the list. I'm not really a fan of that. It sounds kind of, you know, dumb to me, gimmicky, but you know, it is gonna be on there. It's one of their biggest hits, so there you go. So there's like, you know, there's like an instant go for what Mojo, so there you go. With every track, they keep coming back with another one of those block rockin' beats. Back with another one of those block rockin' beats. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. That was sampling a police are in the top okay. Chemical Brothers songs. Believe. Chosen our entries yeah, I don't really get. Uh, I don't really get the Chemical Brothers all that much. I don't. Of the I don't. And their most this is their biggest hit, I believe. The dun dun dun. That. Oh, and that here we go sound. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that sound. Of that song, rather. This sounds really distorted. It sounds really heavy on some kind of um, what would you say? Some kind of distorted guitar, I think. Sounds interesting, but it's not very pleasant to listen to. It's kind of noisy. This particular album didn't get a ton of recognition compared to their earlier work, but this song was probably its most successful one, considering. Yeah, you know, of course. Most electronic music is very repetitive and you know Chemical Brothers isn't really any different from that So I am kind of annoyed at that right now And I'm kind of waiting for a hook or something. I'm kind of waiting for something catchy, but I think it's not really gonna happen You know the thing is with with Daft Punk, I love Daft Punk so much because they have that repetitive sound. It's not very noisy, I would say. It's very pleasant sounds. It's very catchy. It's very addictive music. They bring it in a way where it's like very repetitive, but it's like the greatest hook ever. They, they, they just grab the best hook and they go with that. And I'm just like, yeah, if you have that amazing hook, might as well repeat it for fucking seven minutes, right? You know, around the world. 
I love around the world. It's like the most repetitive song ever. But they have such a great fucking hook on that song. Which, you know, you can listen to that song forever and not get tired of it. Even though it's a seven minute song about around the world. So, that, you know, that's kind of it. And, yeah, you know, I don't think that the Chemical Brothers have that. I do think that they should take some notes of Daft Punk. But, you know, no one can quite, you know, no one is quite Daft Punk like Daft Punk. I, I think the closest artist that has been closest to Daft Punk, I think, is Kanye West. Because the the stronger sample, and Daft Punk was on that track, so there you go. It was sampled, and they, they were on the track itself, or at least in the music video, so there you go. But still got good reviews from critics, and reached the top 20 on the UK... Yeah, as you can tell, I'm not... You know, I'm not really a huge fan of the genre, but I do love that group, so I think you know that by now. They kissed, but they went through each other. Like, oh, we, we love each other, but we can't be together. That's kind of that metaphor. Yeah, that's kind of interesting, I guess. That's kind of poetic. It was kind of dull to look at, though, but it was kind of interesting. I will give them both. It doesn't really matter what version you listen to, it's still pretty much the same track, so yeah. Number 9. Oh, and then they actually kiss each other. The, yeah, my whole metaphor just fucking broke right there. There you go. But they got together on a pretty mediocre song. Number 9. This sounds better, I do like the beat a bit better, I do like that clapping sound, and that sounds better, I think. Oh, all right. Chemical Brothers drum machines works way too well. Star guitar did well. Um, too. This is definitely a better track. I will give them that more melody, more interesting beats going on, but it's still kind of boring, I think. But it's also kind of catchy, so it's kind of um, split for me right now. It's kind of mixed. I'm kind of mixed, brother. I do like this. That's a nice sound. Very pleasant. Standing out with its electronica. And I do like that drum machine, though, right there. Pop vibes. The Come With Us track was also accompanied by a Michelle Gondry directed music video. All right, Michelle Gondry. Love him. Um, you know, to also throw fucking Björk in there again. He did fucking human behavior, I believe. Did he do It's So So Quiet? I think he did that. I think he mostly did like the early shit of Björk, like her fucking debut and post albums. Um, and I mean, she's kind of electronic as well, so... She's kind of an electronic artist, I suppose, but I mean, it's kind of like gorillas in a way. You, you can't really classify her, you know, as in, there's so many genres. What is she? Number eight. Number eight. Leave home. Exit planet does. What else, what else did Michelle Gondry do though? This track he did. He did quite some Björk videos, I believe, and this one. He did. He did more though. He did more. Maybe other artists as well. Spoken word vocal samples. Leave home was a sign of things to come in every release. By the way, I'm I'm Michelle. Yeah, I believe that's how you say it. Michel Gondry. I'm Michel. Yeah, that's literally, yeah. I believe that's literally how you say it, so there you go. With its big beat and I'm Michel Gondry. Sound, the Exit Planet dust track Not Michel, Michel. There you go. Soundtracks. If you wanted to know that. Yeah, so Michel Gondry, not me, but the, the Gondry guy. He has been present since 86. He's 56, old, 56 years old. And he has done music video collaborations with Daft Punk, Donald, Vegan, Radiohead, Björk, Beck, The Chemical Brothers, and The White Stripes. That is an interesting, uh, yeah, an interesting collection of artists right there. I would say they're all pretty good. So, yeah, I don't know Donald Vegan though, but I do, I do know the others and, you know, I would say they're all pretty good. 
Hell, even the white stripes, you know? Good band, but not necessarily for me. So there you go. Number seven, I think. Number seven, out of control. I didn't even call this right on the number eight pick. With collaborations from members of New Order and Primal Scream. This is one of the chemical... That's interesting. No influence songs, as it Those are good bands, so there you go. ...and synths that sound like they were pulled straight from the 80s. I mean, both are very 80s, though. I believe Primal Prom Scream is 80s. Not just the Irish but there you go. It's accompanying music video, also added to the brothers' love for high quality productions, using the backdrop of a fake soft drink ad to showcase the conflict between the government and a revolutionary group. That's getting me thirsty though, goddamn. Number six. Number six, Electro Bank. Dick your oh no, I believe that's our most acclaimed album. That's the one with the girl staring at the ground, I believe. That's the one with Noel Gallagher on it. Yeah, I have to say that most of these songs are really not doing anything for me right now. I'm kind of digging the rapping right now, that sounds interesting. Oh, Spike Jones, nice. Spike Jones did uh, Weezer and Jordan, <laughs> and there you go. I have to mention her at every occasion. I mean, that music video version was really weird. The fucking triumph of a heart. Really weird music video. It's, it's a Spike Jones, it's a great video. Oh, and he did. Fucking It's Oh Supply. He did that song. Or that music video, rather. Number six. I mean, we can look at Spike Jones as well. I mean, might as well do that. Number five. Number five. Let forever be. Featuring Noel Gallagher. Wait, this was in this was in '97. Yeah, so they were fucking done. Oasis. One of two tunes on this list to feature vocals from Noel Gallagher of Oasis fame. Let Forever yeah. Be has got a Gondry directed video that's just as trippy and as good as the song itself. Oh, and I believe Spike Jones also did fucking um, Fatboy Slim. I, I believe he did that one music video for him. Resembling the the, the praise you want. This song is also one of the chemical I have the most praise successful you. in the states. Making the top 30 on the Billboard Modern Rock Tracks chart. Yeah, um... In the in demand... Mm -hmm. Johnson's filmmaking style made him an in-demand director of music videos for such of the 1990s resulting in col collaborations with Sonic Youth, Beastie Boys, Fatboy Slim, Daft Punk, Weezer, Björk, Kanye West, and Arcade Fire. Oh god damn, I love those last couple of artists though, fucking Daft Punk uh, up until Arcade Fire, I fucking love all of those groups. Not a huge fan of Sonic Youth, Beastie Boys are great, Fat Fatboy Slim is really good, Daft Punk is great, Weezer is great, Björk is great, Kanye West is great, and Arcade Fire are all fucking great, so... I mean he surely knows how to pick his artists though, those are all really good artists. Really great, really. Number four. We're still going on. Yeah, the, the Indian sounding one. Is that an Indian beat? It sounds like it to me. Number four. Galvanize. Yeah, I will say I'm not a huge fan of this song. I, I do know it though. It was, I'm not a huge fan of the Indian beat. Oh, uh, okay. There's a, a Tribe Called Quest member on there. That's what right. That's very repetitive. Um, push, push sound is kind of annoying. Galvanize. Conventional time signature, Galvanize hit the top three of the UK singles chart Galvanize. and topped the Spanish charts for two weeks. What is this? Number three? This sounds familiar. Number three, K 
boy, hey girl. I hate that here we go sound. I fucking hate that. Here we go. Here we go. That intro tells you you're <laughs> it sounds so dumb. The song has become fucking a hate that. festivals and clubs mm. around the world. And it's pretty easy to see why. Wait, two skeletons are making out on the toilet. What the fuck? Oh, and then I turned into humans again. It's spoken word sample from Rockmaster Scott and the dynamic threes the roof is on fire. Wait, this this all names of Rockmaster while he's an EDM producer. What a fucking dumbass. The Chemical Brothers career. Yeah, I still hate it. I don't hate the beef, but I just hate it. Here we go. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. Speaking of them, fucking ads. Yeah, you don't have to smile at me, dude. Fuck off. Go fuck yourself, fat ass. Oh, I drink. Rock and beats. I drink fucking biological milk or something, soil milk. So that makes me a better person, but you're a fat fucking bitch. Fuck you. Oh, I'm fat, so I drink this, so it's healthy. No, you're not healthy. Fuck off, man. Go lose some weight, you fat ass. I won't have to see that. There you go. With a schoolie D sample, noisy sound Block effects rocking and beats. chaotic drums. This song represents the big beat sound the Chemical Brothers helped make famous. Now, I have to be honest here, not any of these songs are grabbing me right now. Winning a Grammy for Best Rock Instrumental. Oh, and there's a producer. That, that reminds me of the fucking... The American Billboard uh, of the... Revolution 909 song by Def Punk. There was also the music video with the police car going into the alley. That song is so amazing. I love that song. <laughs> Didn't really mind this song to be honest. Few honorable mentions. Do it again. Oh, I hate this song. Do it again. Terrible song. Do it again. <laughs> I fucking hate that song. Believe featuring Kale Okoreke. What the fuck is that music video? That was a weird music video. Life is sweet, exit plan and dust. Life is pretty dope, I will say that. Next one. It began in Africa, come with us. Oh, what? Yeah, I mean, the Noel Gallagher tune is gonna be number one. This one. This song was really psychedelic to me. Really trippy. This is their best song now. Number one, Setting Sun. Featuring Noel Gallagher. This is another song clearly inspired by Tomorrow Never Knows. Which is a favorite of both the Chemical Brothers and Gallagher, who guests on the track. Yeah. I mean, of course, Noel is like a huge uh, fan of the Beatles, of course. This does sound, really sound like Tomorrow Never Knows, though, I do agree. It just sounds like the remix version. So well, because it mixes in. As much as it might sound like the Beatles during their Revolver era, Setting yeah. Sun works so well. Because it mixes influences from the past with the brothers' signature sound. Yeah, this is their best song though. I do agree with that. That's that's falling down sound. Sounds really uh really dramatic in a good way. Yeah, I do like I do really like this song though. This, this was a good song. So I guess I do like one song by them as well. Fucking hate this song. Be sure to Do it again. Here we go. <laughs> oh, sorry for that. Here we go. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that was alright. I'm not a huge Chemical Brothers guy, so um, I didn't mind that much, to be honest. Top 10 the Prodigy songs or tracks or whatever. Pay some tribute to uh, for the biggest electro group. That would be Daft Punk, but sure. No, the Psalm and Dance, not even an honorable list. Okay. Alright. Top 10 Avex tw uh, twin songs, please. Hell yeah. Do love that group. Uh, everybody knows the test should be in the top 10. Um, and where do I begin? Do the Prodigy. 
Do the Prodigy. Yeah, you didn't need to say it twice though, but I do agree with the Avex Twin um, comment and the Prodigy one. Top 10 Armin Van Buren songs. Fuck that guy. Overrated as fuck. Um, he's a dirt show. Yeah, I don't care. And two people are like, yeah, do it. But no, Armin is so boring. Top 10 The Prodigy songs maybe. No, uh, thanks for this. Hopefully people will start listening to fuck you trend to this real electronic music top 10 mr oizo song the fuck is that top 10 music artists you probably haven't heard of but should have steven wilson oh, god damn it um fucking trend you know does everyone love the song don't think from chemical brothers i don't know that song no salmon dance come on mojo uh, Salmon Dance, yeah, a lot of people love Salmon Dance. Where Salmon Dance? Nice. <coughs> Billy Mitchell, who the fuck is that? It sounds familiar. A lot of people love fucking Salmon Dance, though. God damn. Um, yeah, but there you go. Sorry for that disgusting sound, but there you go. Um, don't really care for this group all that much. I do think they're alright. Selling Sun is a great song. Do like that. Do like that under. Andre, that other No Gallagher song as well. I do think whenever he is on the album, he's pretty good. Or that uh, that 97 album just sounds pretty good in general. So if you want to request that album, then I can do it. But I, you know, I don't really have a high expectation for this band because every other song sounds kind of boring to me, and some of them sounds really annoying. So yeah, there you go. That was the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like and subscribe to the channel for future live Let me know what you think about this uh, group band in the comments down below. I, I think they're a duo like Death Punk. There's, there you go. There you go. Um, do it out you will. Uh, see you in the next video and peace.